Green Gales Junior B Lacrosse is proudly brought to you by Booster Juice Highway Number 2 in Bowmanville, just west of the Rickard Complex. Green Gales come into this game a bit battered but unbeaten so far on the season, and the Pia Knights. No interest in showing mercy. The Founders Cup champions get to work right away. Liam Aston first on the score sheet just 24 seconds into this game. Green Gales power play. Thomas Kiazik with the stop. Ball takes a hop in favor of the Knights, but Garrett Thompson's going to come up big as he would many times in this game while under fire. That was Exhibit A. How about Exhibit B and Exhibit C here as well for good measure. Kiazik showing off his good stuff as well. Big arm save here to deny Robbie McGrain. The Knights' pressure was relentless halfway through the period. Lee McLeod strikes to put Nepean up by three. They would take a four-goal lead into the second period where McGrain is on a break. Heavy pressure from Jacob Kiazik in pursuit. He plays it perfectly to disturb the shot. 25 minutes in, the Green Gales get on the board. Aiden Urbach, nice setup for Noah Simpson. He has his second goal on the season. Owen Lee won't be denied here. He barges in on goal and goes up over the shoulder of Kiazek to make this a 5-2 game. Let's go to the third period. Nick Peltier, quick hands in front of the goal to convert the pass from Sam Perrant. And this is going to make it 8-2 for the Nepean Knights. Despite the gap on the scoreboard, Thompson continues to deal well with the waves of pressure that his team was under. Bright spot here for the Green Gales, Colton McNutt, unreal finish for his team's final goal of the afternoon. Let's get a better look at it here, slow down, oh yeah, that is nice. Nepean charges through the record complex and takes this one by a score of 10-3, to a tough opponent for the Gales who were able to play. They'll use this as a lesson with hopes of seeing them again come playoff time. We had no illusions in terms of uh, what we'd be facing. I mean, that's a hell of a ball club. Um, those guys, they got, they got a great team, really well coached, super athletic, play both sides of the floor really, uh, really, really well. So we weren't, we weren't surprised in terms of what we were going to face. Testament to the guys. Um, you know, nobody gave up. We played, uh, played a full three periods. Um, you know, we, we, we really challenged the guys. It's one of those games where, you know, it's lopsided score-wise and a lot of negativity can get into the dressing room and the bench. And, you know, that was a, that was a big focus for us is let's stay positive and uh, let's use these guys as a test and force ourselves to get better. And, um, you know, we asked our, our D to do specific things. We asked our O to do specific things. And they went and executed against it. And, uh, and they did well. And, I, you know, I know it was I know it was a 10-7 game, or pardon me, 10-3 game. Uh, we we got a lot of looks. I mean, th that that kid on the pian is a hell of a goalie, and uh, hats off to him.